These images made by Konstantin Tsiolkovsky around 1890s, revealing the possible ways of rockets to travel space. Tsiolkovsky lost much of his hearing due to scarlet fever at an early age. Perhaps that is why he became attracted to books, which evoke the realm of his imagination. Otherwise, living in a village like Kaluga, it's hard to think of such far-reaching thought. He was greatly inspired by Jules Verne's book, From Earth to the Moon, and began to calculate how much speed is actually required for something to leave the Earth. And soon he realized, to accelerate even a cannonball to reach space, the cannon might have to be as large as the Eiffel Tower. Moreover, it would have thousands of Gs, which would crush any passenger within it. So he began to think of other possibilities, and found one. What if a such vehicle is made, which will release energy more gradually from within? With this thought, he sat down to do the math and became quite successful. Although his visionary work on rockets served as the basis for all future spacecraft, he was unable to carry humans into space by himself.